just woke up. Now I have to get ready for the day. It is currently 9.42 a.m. I am studying for a midterm. That's next Tuesday. It's a social midterm, but I am really unmotivated right now. Um, it's just, I've hit that point in the year and I think a lot of people have where it's your final semester and you're really just pushing through right now. Um, but yeah, we'll see how studying goes. I hope I retain a lot. I still have a lot to go through before the actual midterm itself. Um, but yeah, we'll see you guys at placement. So this is the office I am usually situated in. Uh, right now I'm just checking emails from Pathways. Um, there are three desks in here. So three student parent support workers, one there. My supervisor sits here. Um, yeah, it's a nice little room. It's very bright. Hey everyone, it's currently 12.23 right now. I just had my site supervision with Melissa. Um, and now my supervisor just stepped out to go grab his car and we're gonna go postering. So, um, this one is for Pathways and this is basically um, a poster that is um, allowing new students to come to our program in the fall. And then this one um, is an open house for our program. So we'll be going around the community center um, in different places to do that. We will also be going to different employers today to get them to see if they want to come out to our career fair, which is happening on April 9th, I think. <laughs> I just finished um, my day of placement. Uh, today is Wednesday, so I'm usually at placement from 12 to 8, but today I came in for 11 because I did my final site visit with Melissa. Um, so that was really exciting just to get that final evaluation out of the way. Um, and it definitely made me reflect a lot. Um, she asked some really interesting questions. So one of them was what I took away from this placement experience. And I think something that I figured that I'm passionate about is community work. Um, I think I have realized that community, the community setting is somewhere that I want to be in for a really long time in CYC practice. Um, as of right now, I don't see myself in anywhere else. I would love, love, love to work in Regent Park after um, specifically at Pathways Education if I could. Um, yeah, I've built a lot of really, really great connections with the youth there. Um, the staff there are super, super nice. It definitely felt like family um, since day one, and they, they definitely treat me like family. So it's been an overall really good experience. And um, yeah, so I figured out that community is extremely imperative, um, especially for youth. With a program like ours where we are as, as a student's parent support worker in SPSW, we are um, assigned a, a caseload of students. So we are basically the primary workers. And after they graduate, they, you know, like there's this whole term of like, it's kind of similar like transitioning out of care um, in a sense, where they transition um, out of our program and into post-secondary or whatever they really choose to do. So once they kind of transition out of our care, um, they kind of don't, if, if they weren't connected with an organization like us or like within their community at all then that that could be um, they could feel like they don't have any more resources so that that's a really um, I think strong piece in having that community there for you we or I also brought up um, one of my biggest challenges this year 
was definitely from September up until February, um, end of February, um, I found that I was physically present at placement, but completely mentally absent, um, especially with a lot going on. Uh, first semester and transitioning into second semester, this, this year has been incredibly tough for me. Um, also in terms of, of my mental health. So that, that really took a toll on me. And I think it, it was a real struggle for me because um, I, since my hours are really strange, so I, on a Wednesday I'll do typically a 12 to eight, won't get home until 8.30. And then on Thursdays I do um, a 1 p.m. until nine. So on both days I am getting home pretty late. Um, and then I have to eat and then I have to shower and all that stuff. So I, I usually don't start homework until 10. And then at that point when I do start work, I am completely exhausted. Um, I'm doing my readings, but I'm not really doing them. I'm just kind of skimming them through and not really retaining anything uh, because I'm so tired. And studying also has been incredibly hard. I would wake up almost even not even almost, but I, I did dread going to placement B because I was just so exhausted with everything. With my academics, that was just, it was a lot. It was definitely a lot for me. Um, but I have learned to reorganize my days, um, which I mean, like I learned now, which is a little late into the year, considering it's March. Coming home from placement late, I've allowed myself to learn how to take a break because I deserve it. Um, I'm working long days, so that's it's tough. So instead of doing work after placement, um, I'll typically do it on a Friday or Friday, Saturday, and Sunday um, when I'm not working because those are the days where I pretty much have the entire day off, which is which is good. So it's really for me. It was about shifting my schedule and finding out how to balance everything, um, and also allowing myself to feel that taking a break is 100% okay. That's something that I really, really struggled with um, throughout all my four years, actually. Um, it was like whenever I wasn't doing work, I would feel really, really guilty. It really hit me that I placement's almost over, um, which is really bittersweet. I love the young people that I work with. I love the staff. Um, so I, it's sad. It's really sad to think about how I only have a couple weeks left and then I have to leave this organization. Um, and I think it's even more rough because I have made such good connections with youth. And um, there are some specific youth that I work with who, um, well, whenever they see me, because they only see me um, twice a week, they'll, they'll always bring up the, my, you know, like my last days in April. So that's it's really sad. I think I don't think this is the end of everything. Um, I think I'm still gonna keep in touch with them. Uh, I have one student who has asked me to keep in touch via email, so that's gonna be really nice. Um, this particular student always comes in on a Wednesday, um, and I do a little informal counseling with him. Um, we always do um, a check in with each other to see how we are. So that's that's really nice, and that's something that I really look forward to every week. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much my entire day. Um, it was it was a good one. But I am going to sign off on my part of the vlog now.